Good evening, all you wild kitty cats, and welcome back from another fantastic weekend here at the U of A. I'm David Schmolenson. And I'm Samantha Schaefer. Today is Monday, October 4th, and your Daily Dose starts now. ARIA International Incorporated, a Virginia-based surveillance and communication systems contractor, is relocating its headquarters to the U of A Science and Technology Park. They provide customized security systems which work to secure communications, surveillance, and scanning systems. U of A Tech Park is looking to use this as an advantage to enhance border security. This will allow the testing and evaluation of new technologies to be used at the border. ARIA has already developed and operated security and surveillance pro projects in Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, and Thailand. Well, it looks like they're working hard to keep our borders safe. It's always a good thing by me. Yes. Well, independent voters are growing in Pima County. And the number of people choosing not to register with either the Democrats or Republicans has nearly doubled since 2000. Pima County recorder Rodriguez said, I think this is a big wake-up call for the two political parties. People are disappointed, and that's why they're choosing the independent route. The deadline to register to vote for the November 2nd general elections is midnight tonight. Now, let's stop in to see some sports with our very own... Tyler Baron. This past weekend left the UA without an exciting game at Arizona Stadium. Although the Wildcat football team did not play, they did move up in the AP standings to number 9 in the country. With this ranking, the Cats jump into the top 10 and are ranked for the first time heading into October since 1998. Up next for Arizona is Oregon State. The Beavers enter play at 2-2 and 1-0 and and in the Pac-10. Coming off a tough 10-9 win over Cal, this extra week of rest heading into the nitty gritty of the Pac-10 play should help Arizona down the stretch. Game time for this family weekend game is set at 4 p.m. and will be broadcasted on the Versus Network. Final score in this one, I take Arizona 28, Oregon State 14. Yesterday, the UA softball team beat U Uvapa Pie College in the fall season opener 9-4. Sophomore Kenzie Fowler pitched three innings, giving up two runs, but did get the win. Fowler came into relief, at, came into relief for freshman Shelby Babcock, who is making her debut as a Wildcat. Babcock pitched four innings while giving up two runs and walk, walking four. Stacey Chambers continued where she left off last season, belting a line drive home run to dead center to bring home Brittany Lestraps and Lauren Schultzer. Former Wildcat greats Jenny Finch, Tyrin Mowat, Mackenzie Vandergreest, and Chelsea Mesa returned to Hillenbrand Stadium tonight to take on Arizona, rep representing the NPF All-Stars. The Arizona women's soccer team won their second straight game, edging the University of San Francisco 2-1 in their final non-conference match at Murphy Field at Mulcahy Stadium. Fans witnessed a scoreless first half but quickly ended when Arizona seniors Mac Mutz and Alex Davis scored back-to-back -back goals within two minutes of each other. Mutz hit her first goal of the season after heading a ball from free, by a free kick by sophomore Kirsten Magyar in the 65th minute of play. With this win, the Cats improved to 4-5-2 and two on the season, heading into Pac-10 play. The Wildcats will travel to Washington to take on the University of Washington on Friday, October 8th at 7 p.m. in Seattle. That's it, Wildcats. Don't forget to check out the Monday Night Football game tonight on ESPN where the Dolphins host the Patriots. Go Dolphins! I'm Tyler Barron, and that's a look at sports. I have the Patriots tonight. Tyler had the Dolphins. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We will. <laughs> All right. 16 people had to evacuate their apartment building Saturday afternoon due to a fire that started outside. At approximately 1.31 p.m., the fire broke out west of the University of Arizona campus on 914 South 4th Avenue. Everyone was evacuated from the eight units inside with no one injured in the process. There is an estimated $20,000 worth of damage. Most of the damage inside was caused by smoke and the electric system will need to be repaired. The Red Cross has stepped in with riding with housing for those who need it. Up next, please check out UATV's own Alexis Rees with a look in entertainment.
Welcome back, Tucson. I'm Alexis Reeves with your entertainment news. The Facebook movie called The Social Network was said to be well-liked in the box office. The movie opened up with a $28 million weekend. The story is based on Harvard undergrad and computer programming genius Mark Zuckerberg, who sat down at his computer one night and began to work on a new idea. In a furry of blogging and programming, what begins in his dorm room soon becomes a global social network and a revolution in communication. And near six years and 500 million friends later, Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest billionaire in history. Before this entrepreneur, success leads to both social and legal complications. The Social Network is playing at multiple theaters throughout Tucson, so go out and see and watch the story of our way of communicating. Tucson's scariest haunted house, the Tucson Slaughterhouse, is officially open. The thir this Thursday, October 7th, is Media VIP Night, and next Saturday, October 16th, rapper B.O.B. will be here performing live from the Slaughterhouse. For information on ticket prices and events, go to www.tucsonslaughterhouse.com. The 37th Annual Meet Yourself Festival is officially taking off this Friday, October 8th through Sunday, October 10th. Last year, an outstanding 70,000 people came together in downtown Tucson to celebrate the living traditions and everyday expressions of our multicultural communi communities through music, dance, traditional crafts, storytelling, and food. The festival will have five different themed areas and performers. For, for more information on the Tucson Meet Yourself Festival, go to www.tucsonmeetyourself.org. That's all I have for today, Wildcats. I'm Alexis Reeves, and have a good night. Did you see The Social Network? No, I haven't yet, but I'm planning on seeing it this weekend. It was really good. You should. Okay. Well, UA Bicycle Safety Campaign has now shifted into the enforcement phase. During the month of September, campus police stopped bike riders breaking the rules and just gave them a safety reminder. Now, in the month of October, the safety reminder turns into a pricey ticket. If you fail to stop at the stop sign, that will cost you $220. Riding on sidewalks, going through crosswalks, and failing to hand signal will also cost bike riders. Campus police say they want drivers, pedestrians, and bikers to follow the same rules of the route. Well, let's go and stop in with our weather anchor, Lisa McLean, and take a look at your weekly forecast. Hey there Wildcats, today is October 4th and I'm Lisa McLean with your weather forecast. Today we reached a high of 89 degrees with partly sunny skies and a bit of wind. Tonight you can expect a low of 67 degrees and possibly some thunderstorms. We'll have more stormy weather tomorrow. Expect a daytime high of 87 with isolated thunderstorms and wind. Your nighttime low will be around 65 degrees. We'll be, we will be getting out of the crazy weather on Wednesday. We have a high of 90 degrees with some wind and a low of 63 degrees. On Thursday, you are in the clear. We have a high of 90 degrees during the day with sunny skies and a low of 60 degrees. Beautiful weather on Friday to start off your weekend with a high of 87 and a low of 60 degrees on Friday night. Well, there's your five-day forecast. A little stormy at first, but looking good for the weekend. So stay cool, Wildcats. UATV 3 UATV 3 When I turn on the TV, I turn it to channel 3 Cause they got all the greatest shows that I've been waiting to see It's entertaining to me, cause it's pertaining to me And all the other Wildcats in the student body We're broadcasting lots of all the residence halls So all y'all's in the halls, turn your TVs on the channel 3 for she -Z, So you can see me and all the other happy people down at UATV 3 Well, that's just about all the Daily Dose we have for you tonight, Arizona. I'm Samantha Schaefer. And I'm David Schmolten. Have a great evening, Wildcats. That's all we got.